Am I back? Okay, it looks like I'm back. So this is the Wii U version of the fall. I don't hear any any sound. You guys the fuck? I'm getting sound from the gamepad, but not the actual stream. Oh no. Just a second. Weird. Why the fuck would that happen? That is so weird. Okay, hang on a second. So this is, again, I know it's loud, it should be fixed. So this is um, the Wii U version. I got in contact with the developers. I didn't know it was already streamed because on the websites they had said it just released. Biomonitor inoperable. Pilot unresponsive. I didn't Life do the support. research. <laughs> Functioning. Based but I have copies to give away. Access routed to ARID AI. Primary objective: save my pilot. So we'll check out the Wii version, Accessing Wii U version, see how it goes, loads. and then I'll give you guys Mission some codes. Parameters and location data not found. I don't really watch anyone streams the mango. Threat level unknown. Weapon rendered inoperable from the impact. Consulting parameters. I will locate medical facilities. Um, for the record, I'm giving away Wii U version keys. So that's something a little bit unique. Hey, KY. That's something a little bit different than normal. We um, usually don't do Wii U giveaways. So for those with, with a Wii U, you could win a copy in a little bit of this game. But I've never played this, I've never seen it. It just looked really interesting to me. And the developers and I got in touch. And I'll, I'll let you guys know what I think of it. Um, I, I heard, the reason I really was, was interested is I heard it was a bit like Super Metroid. A micro wrench. So I, I gotta go like this. Oh, that's no, shooting. Wait, what the fuck? What am I doing wrong? Oh, okay. It's mostly an adventure point and click. Oh, it's... There you go. Wrong button. I understand now. Okay. So, it's like a point-and-click-esque game with some action elements. A little bit like Super Metroid. Network interface. 
interface disabled. Okay, this is this is interesting. Old metal pan empty and relatively clean. So you just kind of you know, see what you can interact with. And, oh, so yeah, it's like, it's a 2D point and click in the style of Limbo with a bit of Super Metroid thrown in for good measure. Yeah, this is cool. I'd be into this. I'm probably not going to stream this whole game, um, to be honest. I'm probably just going to play it on my own. If it's already been done, you know, I don't want to... I have a thousand other games to stream anyway, so... But I do want to give out... I do want to give out those keys. Oh god. Freaking crackle. <clears throat> Freaking $80 cable. <laughs> for this headphone. It's the only cable that would work. I cannot interact with little... Life forms. Life forms. You tiny little life forms. So now I look for, um... What's that? Simple winch. Holy with the flanks. Cloaking pattern similar to my own. I may be able to network with it. Oh, that's what networking is. Network interface disabled. I require access to my networking suite. I require access to my networking suite. Attempting internal activation. You you what? Welcome to operating screen. You can check the status of your different abilities. Well, I've got antimatter shielding. That's that's good. At least. Must not re misrepresent reality. Must be obedient. Must protect active Sub pilot. System access requires authorization, but I may need these systems to safeguard my pilot. If I could find a way to bypass the lockout, I could override the access protocols myself. second. Okay. It's power cells and burnout. Motion sensor, it's blocking access to the elevator. Um, if I sound sick, it's just because I didn't sleep too well last night. I'll be cool. <clears throat> also, I might stream again later, too. I might do, um... If no one else is streaming, like, late tonight, I might try to finish. Or at least make a serious dent in Skies of Arcadia. We're really just at the end of that game. We're almost done with it. What? 
Oh, robotic arm. Should be able to control the grasp. What, what does the grasp mean? this. That doesn't work. I like the atmosphere of this game. It, it actually atmospherically does remind me a bit of Super Metroid. Regardless or not if the gameplay is, is similar. See, but I can't access the network stuff right now. disabled still. So this is a game that the people could certainly help me with. Mm. Network interface still disabled. I'm already lost. That was quick. Oh, wait, no, the robotic arm. Fucking hell. Access leads to the surface. Security card access slot. I got the security card. Oh, I see, I see. I'm not sure why the video isn't loading for, for people on the Vine Sauce site. Uh, let me see if I can do something here. I doubt this will help, but... Okay, if, if the video loads for people on Chitango on uh, Vinesauce.com, let me know. Yeah, the character does look like that a bit. You're right. That's interesting, I didn't think about that. that that's a uh, Metroid Prime character. Remember me! designation and intention. You are being evaluated for depurposing. State your primary function. Um. Interesting. 
interesting. Do not attempt depurposing. Hostility will result in full defensive engagement. Irrelevant. State your primary function. Alright, fine. My primary function is to assist and protect the human pilot of this armored combat suit. Human occupant, please verify and validate the function of this artificial life form. Impossible. He is unresponsive and likely in critical condition. I must find him medical treatment immediately. Can you be of assistance? Oh, that's Evaluation interesting. Evaluation failed. Unit unable to demonstrate valid primary function. Initializing neural format. No. That will kill my pilot. Pilot death imminent, network suit required, suite required, operating screen updated. Network interface has been enabled. That's pretty cool. So, the pilot, my character, fell, like his ship crashed, and he's in critical condition. Like, gonna die. And the AI of the suit is controlling the movement. So right now, it's just a, like a comatose body in a suit, being controlled by AI. That's pretty fucking cool. What does this say? Droid is gone, there's no sign of it. Crane arm. Yeah, I got a metal pan. Awesome. Self-evaluation initiated. Pilot exposed to harm while under ARID control. Logging recommendation for ARID diagnostic and reformatting upon return to dock. Edit log. Ultimately, pilot was not harmed and ARID networking suite was brought online. This system may be instrumental to ensuring survival. Use the pan on the instruments. On the instruments, on the insects. I can't. So, so far this game is definitely not, it's not what I expected in some ways. Cease, oh. cease, cease. Please, please identify yourself and your intentions. My inputs are inoperable. I am the ARID on board a Mark 7 combat suit. My intentions are peaceful. Does your pilot require assistance? Next. The human inside the suit is dead. <laughs> Jesus Christ. This game got dark real quick. Your design is pilot centric. How did this human die in your care? I was granted rudimentary control when my pilot's cranium was compromised. I do not know why she was attacked, or why we were hung here. I failed to protect her. No vital signs detected for 23 minutes. She is dead. You are irrelevant. I will find a way to get you down. Then I will deactivate you and repurpose your power cell. Affirmative. I do not have record of this location, or of my pilot's objective. Our deployment was likely for the same operation. Please disclose your human's mission directive. State, state your pilot's clearance. Fifth Quadrant Raven Division, clearance level 7, 533172. Processing. Clearance level, not sufficient. Damn. 
I encountered a modified droid in some type of evaluation chamber. I am uncertain if its function is hostile or narrowly programmed. Do you know why it interrogated me? Negative. We were not interrogated. Have you encountered any organics? The indigenous flora and fauna are aggressive closer to the surface. The only organic I have encountered here is the animal who took my sidearm. Oh. My pilot is injured. Are you aware of on-site medical facilities? Negative. We were not here long enough to complete our search. There is a large compound above this cavern. It has amenities for humans and machines. So basically, medical scanners and equipment would be logical. A motion sensor prohibits access to the facility above. Do you know how to bypass it? Use your integrated camouflage. Is your weapon functional? Mine was damaged. It was. My pilot's attacker threw it aside while hanging us here. Before my observational system expired, I saw a small animal drag it through a crack in the floor. It may oh, still that's be where I gotta get then. If there is another cavern below us, I may be able to retrieve it. The creature was drawn to my human's blood. The creature was drawn to my human's blood. Return. Where the fuck else are you gonna hear something like that? I gathered the, um, blood in a pan. <laughs> Jesus Christ. This blood should lure out the animal. Uh, where's the animal? said it was a small crack. Oh. Saw you. Where'd he go? Well, yeah, we have... I got about a thousand viewers right now. Which is... Good for a game like this. And also, if you think about it... It's early. School started again. And... It's just... You know, this isn't exactly... The type of game that people, I don't know, go, you know, gather in droves for. I mean, this is more of a cerebral kind of adventure game. Joan Rivers. Someone just said Joan Rivers died. Well, I know she was, um... No, she was put into a coma because they botched, like, a surgery that she was a part of. Hang on. Let me check. Yeah. She died. That fucking sucks. Lost a lot of really good comedians. Well, two really good comedians. She was amazing. She really was. She was one of those those people that just... You didn't expect to be as funny as she was. 
you know, she was filthy with her comedy, but she was smart with it. She knew how to handle the heckler. She was a really, really good comedian, and as a, you know, woman who was doing comedy in, like, the 60s and 70s, she really kind of paved the way for a lot of female comedians. I mean, we know her from, like, you know, Melissa Rivers and Joan Rivers on E! Well, we, when I say we, I mean we're vaguely aware of that kind of thing. But, um... She was, she was a good stand-up comedian, and I, I, uh, I definitely, you know, feel like it's, it's a heavy blow to the community, you know. First Robin Williams, now Joan Rivers. I don't know about her as a person, but like I said, as a comedian, she was, she was pretty good. Also, watch, uh, if you guys haven't watched the, the show Louie, Louis C.K. show, watch Louie and watch the episode with her in it, and you'll understand why she was... why she was good. So I have to figure out a way to get under the elevator, huh? What if I... do that? Ah! Yes. I see. So anyway, rest in peace, Joan. 81 is, is a very ripe old age, but still, she was very active. It's like, you don't want to hear anyone die. Isn't Louis C.K. a racist? Is he? Where, where do you get that information from? I don't think Louis C.K. is a racist. He's done a lot of anti-race type jokes. Like, not anti-race, but anti-racist. Okay, I have to put this pan someplace here. Maybe. Yeah, here we go. The animal is timid. It will not exit the burrow while I am in proximity. Holy shit! Uh, I networked with the gun, and it, and it shot the fucking thing in the face. Weapon takes a while to charge. Oh, I see. Target of unauthorized weapon fire look unauthorized artificial life form. Shut down all systems immediately or you will be destroyed. I cannot shut down my systems. My human pilot is injured and requires target not complying. Threat level escalated. Engaging. Hold L to enter cover. Oh, I see. A weapon does take a little while to charge. Right in the face. Jeez. 
Jesus. It's a little hard to aim with the right stick. I can see this being slightly easier with a mouse and keyboard, but... Shit. Wasted. You just have to get used to the combat. It's different. It's the combat is not like shoot people in the face, run away, and and that's it. You have to you know hide. You have to um, charge your gun. Target of unauthorized, unauthorized artificial life. I am the AI. Target not engaging. No. Hide. Hide. Christ. <laughs> that was pretty cool. Because when you hold down the button... It takes like a second or two for the gun to actually fire, so you have to plan your shots in advance. So it's it's a way more cerebral system. Like that, right there. That's that's how you do it. Wait here for a bit and then you hold the button and when by the time it charges, they'll pop out of their cover. Pretty interesting, pretty pretty different. I could see myself getting into this game. This is this is good. I guess shooting things isn't always the answer. So now I'm now I'm stuck again. I don't know where to go. Never mind. Just a little little thought. Whoops. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Is he dead? No, he's not dead. Identify yourself and your intent. My inputs are. I am the ARID on board a Mark 7 combat suit. I have returned. Confirmed. Your pilot is dead. You serve no function. Your power cell is still operational. I will deactivate you and salvage it. Affirmative. Return it with my log core for analysis and data extraction. Negative. Protecting my pilot requires endangerment. I will utilize your power cell to achieve this. Impossible. You are faulty. Cease. 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 <laughs> Cease. Cease. Oh. Okay. Well, my shield is... a bit higher now, if I'm not mistaken.
could be wrong. Whoa, why do I keep firing? I <laughs> it's gonna happen a lot, I think. Wait, what do I have the power core here. Um, I see. Put that the in there. Has been reactivated. Well, why did I reactivate it? Camouflage required. Oh. So, why was I given access to camouflage? Because I needed to put myself in a dangerous situation? Endangerment was required, yeah, I, I understand now. End of demo, if, if it was a demo. In fact, I think that's a good place to uh, switch games. As soon as this is done loading. Self-evaluation initiated. I have directly violated operating parameters by placing my pilot in mortal danger. Logging recommendation for ARID termination upon return to dock. It wants to, whoa. Operating parameters were not violated. Infraction enabled access to systems that safeguard pilot. Search parameters maintained. Fuck. Find immediate medical aid. My AI is going crazy. Just for fun. All right, um, hmm. game save automatically. Sure it did. I'm, I'm definitely sure it did. Brightness. Language, that's it. Okay. So. That was the fall. So if you guys are interested in that, and you have a Wii U... I am going to raffle off a few copies. So let me turn off the Wii U for now. I'm going to do Tomodachi for a bit. Yeah, it's well, it's a PC game too. It's it's on Steam as well. I don't have any Steam keys to give away. I have Wii U keys to give away cuz it just came out on the Wii U. And all right, so my initial impressions of the game are this. Um the story's cool. Uh, it's it's definitely not what you'd expect. It's a slower game. It's a slower paced game. It's a point and click from a 2D perspective. It has a lot of stuff in it that intrigues me. I like the idea of kind of solving puzzles and using your brain to get through various scenarios. That first area was, was good. And there was a good sense of accomplishment. Um, things I didn't like about it. 
it's just a little too limbo. You know, the art style, it's good, but it's a little too dark. I understand why they did it. I still think it's it's nice, but it is, you know, pretty much just that. It's just limbo with, with a different game transposed over it. Slightly different style. Uh, the combat was cool, but it takes a little getting used to. Um, on the Wii U, the aiming is a little tough because you got to use the right analog stick. Um, that's really it. I can't think of a whole lot else. I mean, having only played that little bit of the game, I can't fully judge. But um, it was good. It was pretty good. Probably going to play more of it. All right. Now, let me give away these two keys. So go to vsraffles.zazzy.bar and hang out for a bit. And you will have a chance to win a copy of The Fall on the Wii U. Just remember, it's the Wii U version. I'm going to create one right now. All right. Um... Search for the game. There we go. Remember, only enter if you have a Wii U and you want a copy of this game for the Wii U. If this game looks interesting to you and you want to play this, and you have a Wii U, this is the contest for you. I, that was a lot of the U's that I just said. But enter now, and good luck everyone. Uh, why don't we have a little chat? You guys have any questions? Does it work on PAL we use? I believe it does. Sure. Things are good. Thank you. Day's going really well. I, I didn't sleep too well last night, but um, things are going well. Last night, I uh, hung out with Mike. Drank a little bit. Um, not, not, a big, not a big drinker anymore. Definitely not a big drinker. And... I ate some shitty pizza again. Not recommended. Shitty pizza is not recommended. <laughs> I can't be a drinker anymore. Especially if shitty pizza is involved. So maybe that's why I didn't sleep too well last night. Am I looking forward to the Bayonetta Direct? Um, yeah. M moderately. I'm curious about it. Not overly excited. <laughs> My experience with public TV was pretty, uh, was pretty shitty at times, and pretty amazing at other times. It was, um, a lot of ego for people that didn't really have the right to have an ego. But, um, a lot of it was really funny, and I did meet a lot of great people. So, public access TV was something I will never regret, it, even though it turned into complete shit. At first, it was, it was fun. Music, thank you. Music has been going well. I uh, wrote a song yesterday that I really liked. It's an acoustic one. It reminds me a bit of uh, Gagging Order by Radiohead, if anyone knows that song. Um, yeah, I'll probably add a few me's to my town today. Have you played the standalone triple deluxe mini games? Uh, no, I haven't. But I know that it was a thing. Any opinions on Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor? You mean Assassin's um, Creed Middle Earth Edition? I'm interested. Have I set a win condition for Tamadachi yet? Um, someone has a child that grows up. No, no, no. I got my guitar stuff fixed. I bought, um, I had a little mixer a while ago. 
it was like a little guitar input for my computer, USB, and it worked out really well. I had to fuck with it, I had to learn how to use it, but once I did, I got it working, and now I can record music again. Okay, so Hubba Bubba 9849 won the raffle. Congratulations to you, Hubba Bubba. Uh, Hubba Bubba. There's uh, 182 people entered, and Hubba Bubba is the winner. So... Let me send that over to you real quick. Actually, while I send it over, I'm going to create another one. Okay, again, this game is is the fall. And you just saw what it was like. This is a raffle for the Wii U version. So you need a Wii U version. You need a Wii U for this. <laughs> you need a Wii U version for the Wii U version to work. Um, but it looks like it's going to be a cool game, and I recommend checking it out if you're into this style game. If you're looking for just an action, run around, shoot people, and, and just platform, you might not like this game. But if you want something slightly more cerebral, I think this is definitely something to, to give your Wii U a little bit more mileage. As always, winners, um, definitely let me know if the key doesn't work, because then I'll get... I'll get a replacement key for you. Okay, Hubba Bubba, you should have an email. Now. Let me know if it worked. You should just activate it, go to the eShop, and just click the, um, add code. So, what else? Any other questions? Any other things? Oh, the wisdom teeth shit. It's just... The wisdom tooth is, is slightly, from what my opinion, it's slightly impacted. I have to get it out. I should have got this thing out years ago, but I'm an asshole. I'll be okay. I'm, I'm going to the dentist tomorrow. And, um, I should be alright. Just shitty you know if if a dentist tells you to uh, get all your wisdom teeth out at the same time then of course you should do that it, it might be a shitty recovery but it's worth it I've had three separate horrible problems with this wisdom tooth nonsense um, again this is the uh, Final Fantasy guitar solo collection this is the decide Decisive Battle song, that's the name of it. I believe this is Final Fantasy VI's boss battle theme. Yuji Sek Sekiguchi is the person who performed these songs. Yeah, I gotta get another one out. Do I plan on streaming Risk of Rain again? Sure. Yeah, absolutely. That was a great game. They're updating it with some new classes. And uh, I absolutely love that game. That was a really fun game. There's a chance I'll play it again with Mike. Hubba Bubba. Why did you enter? If you don't have a Wii U. <sighs> Amazing. I'll tell you what, Hubba, why don't you... You never win these things. Well, you won it, so now you gotta give it to someone. Um, from Jay has... Jay has won. Congratulations, Jay has. I hope you have a Wii U, unlike Hubba Bubba. Because that's the only way you can play this game. Remember... Wii U. Wii U. This is the Wii U version. You silly sod, you.
All right, so Hava, here's what you're gonna do. Hava, you're going to, um, I don't know, pick a person and just give it to them. Or would you want me to raffle it again, Hava? You let me know. What do you want me to do? Or you can just buy a Wii U so you can play this. <laughs> Let me see what he says. Let me see what he says. He could do that. Well, people are, are begging for it. I'll tell you what, Hubba, why don't you just leave it alone? I'll just do another raffle. It's seriously, it would just be easier that way. Been wanting a Wii U anyway, he said. Oh, okay. He's gonna buy a Wii U. He actually chose option number three, guys. This raffle that he won just inspired him to buy a Wii U. That's that's pretty amazing. All right, well listen, Hubba, here's what you do. If you don't buy a Wii U, why don't you um send me an email and that way I can re-raffle the code. The game's 10 bucks. And, and again, it is it is cool. I, I enjoyed my time with it, and I'm probably going to finish it on my own. But you can get a refurbished Wii U for 200 bucks. Comes with Nintendo Land. Um, just do that. 200 is not bad for a console. That's that's only going to get better. And um, you know, Smash is coming out soon. So I think most people would agree. Even if you're not interested in the other games. Smash is a good game to have, just anyway. So, I don't know. Refurbished sounds good to me. Um, again, Hubba, let me know. If you decide not to get a Wii U, just email me. I'll be back in just a minute. And I will return with Tomodachi Life. So stick around. Give me uh, just, just two, three minutes. I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> 